introduce myself because I've not said much this morning. So here's my background. I, I did a BSc in uh, a degree in food processing technology and a PhD from Nottingham University in Sawyer Extrusion. Um, it seems like a long time ago because it was a long time ago. Um, I started work at the Meat Research Institute, which was based at a place called Langford, just south of Bristol. Started there in 1986, continued until 1990 when government funding was um, was removed. Then at that time, the University of Bristol bought the premises and took on some of the staff. So from 1990 to 2014, I worked at the University of Bristol doing some research, but I also run a taught master's course in meat science for over 20 years. Um, I've published scientific papers and refereed for some of the scientific journals and written book chapters and um, supervised more, more PhD and MSc students than I, than I care to remember. So I took early retirement in 2014. Since then, I've been running some meat quality courses for AHDB, which some of you may have heard of. This is the Agricultural and Horticultural Development Board. Been doing some halal training as well, um, keeping fairly fit. So I've run a couple of half marathons this year. I didn't expect to be doing that in my, in my retirement. Um, and, and married with two daughters. So that, that's me. Enough of me. Let's let's move on to the content. So I want to look primarily at stunning and slaughter um, in the halal meat industry and, and Mara's uh, just introduced that, but also to, to look at some of the implications for animal welfare, oops, animal welfare, meat quality and food safety. So that there's four topics really, stunning and slaughter, animal welfare, meat quality and food safety. And we'll take those topics in order. Now, I would argue, though I, I, I'm a bit biased, um, I would argue that halal stunning and slaughter, in a sense, is at the heart of the halal food industry. Uh, and I say that because meat is important economically, it's important nutritionally, and it, it's also important socially, So, um, because meal occasions are social occasions. Mara's just talked about some of the additives and ingredients that are animal derived, either from tissues or from proteins or from fats. And slaughter is quite a contentious area. And, and we'll look at some of the questions that are asked about stunning and slaughter later. Um, welfare, and that's animal welfare is vital. And, and that's not just slaughter, but uh, the whole of life from birth to death in fact, I would say it's from conception to death. Um, so animal welfare is important. It's important in Islam as well. Um, and that affects carcass and meat quality. And we'll talk about carcass and meat quality later on and the difference between carcass quality and meat quality. Meat's also a major cause of foodborne illness. Um, so Campylobacter and Salmonella are the two main causes of foodborne illness foodborne illness in, in the UK. Mm -hmm. 